Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to start chapter number two that is communication and internet technologies. In this chapter, we are going to cover communication means how devices which are connected with each other communicated. Data transmission, data transmission means how data is moved or how instruction is moved from one device to other device. Then error checking methods, most important topic of this chapter. And then we have internet technologies means to use internet. What are the equipments or what are the components required to connect with internet? So these are the two major topics which we are going to cover in this chapter. Okay, now class, introduction of communication, what communication is actually. Basically, communication is a process, right? And in this process, multiple devices are connected, connected with each other. Multiple devices means more than one. They might be two, they might be three, they might be four or hundreds or thousands or ten thousands or billions of the devices. Right? Due to communication, we are able to share data. We are able to transmit data from one device to other device. If communication is not activated if, if communication is not established then data transmission is impossible to transmit data or tra tra to transmit instructions from one point to other point a connection a communication route a communication bridge must be established otherwise communication is not going to happen is not going to occur then links and routes are most important parts. List and route means links and routes means links means the devices must be connected with each other carefully and properly. Routes, the connections, the wires, which are the roads, which are the passages, which are the paths to transfer data from one device to other device. So that is communication. So basically communication is a process in which two devices must be connected with each other properly and carefully. And this connection enables that data to transmit from one device to other device to travel from one device to other device. That is the role of communication. Then we have data transmission. What is data transmission? It is a process in which data transmit from one device to other device. Means data starts going from one point and reach at other point. Like you people start from your home early in the morning and reach to a school. And in the afternoon, you people start your movement from your school to your home. So in the language of technology, in the language of computer science, the process of transferring of data from one device to other device is called data transmission. This process is called data transmission. For data transmission, communication route must be secured and efficient. Secured means it must be properly connected. It must be securely connected and efficient means it must be clean. There must not be any type of or any quantity of carbon in the circuit. Dust is not allowed. Carbon is not allowed. Connection must be properly made. These are the requirements for the data transmission. Okay, the data movement can be based on short distance or long distance short distance means inside the cpu from ram to hard disk from hard disk to ram to processor to 
to cache it, to registers, that is considered as short distance data movement. And long distance data movement means data traveling from outside devices like keyboard, light mouse, to monitors, to printers, to speakers. These are called long distance devices, which are connected with the help of cables. Okay, now considerable factors for data transmission means few things to be considered, few things to be remembered for data transmission. Number one, direction of data transmission. Direction of data transmission means whether data is transmitted only in one direction, means from one device to other device, or data is transmitted in two-way direction. Two-way direction means from one device to other device and from other device to first device back. Transmission is of from one device to other device only or from one device to other device and in reverse means from other device to first device that is direction of data transmission and it must be considered then methods of data transmission how many methods for data transmissions are being used technologically methods of synchronization between two devices means how two devices are connected with each other how their connection is made how their programming of data transferring is working now we are going to discuss the direction of data transmission now according to the direction of data transmission we have three major types number one simplex data transmission number two half duplex data transmission number three duplex data transmission and it is also known as full duplex simplex data transmission half duplex data transmission and duplex or full duplex both are same things you can use the word duplex you can use the word full duplex data transmission these are the three basic types of data transmission according to direction now simplex data transmission simplex data transmission means communication is unit direction directional as on a one way street simplex data transmission means one device work as a transmitter and the other device will work as a receiver right currently you people can hear my voice can hear my audio and you people can also see my screens you people are not allowed to share your audio you people are not allowed to share your screens so this method or this process is unidirection unidirection means one way direction from my side to your side so in this scenario i am the sender i am the transmitter or you people are the receiver this type of data transmission according to direction is called simplex uh, simplex data transmission means one device is working as a transmitter and one device is working as a receiver it is clearly mentioned in point number two only one of the two stations the station means device i am the station number one and you people are the station number two so station number one is working as a transmitter and station number two is working as a receiver only. The roles have been decided. So I am sending the data in the form of audio and in the form of video and you people are receiving the data only. This scenario of data transmission is considered as 
simplex data transmission. Left, like if I talk about the connection of CPU with all the input devices and all the output devices, these connections are based on simplex data transmission. Means if I use keyboard, so data can be entered into the keyboard only. The data can be entered with the help of keyboard into the CPU only. Nothing can return from CPU to keyboard. If I am using a mouse, a mouse is actually used to control the pointer on a screen. So the instructions are transferring from mouse to CPU. Nothing is returning from CPU to mouse. Like if we talk about monitors, if we talk about printers, if we talk about speakers, data is transferring from CPU to monitor, from CPU to printer, from CPU to speakers. Nothing or none of the type of data is going back from these output devices to CPU. That is unidirection data transmission and it is called simplex data transmission rc based devices all the devices which are based or which are operated through a remote control all remote control devices are considered as or are follow simplex data transmission means the signal can be sent from the remote control to the device only nothing will return from device to remote control. Now the second is half duplex data transmission. What does half duplex data transmission means? Communication is done in both directions simultaneously. Simultaneously, uh, simultaneously means one by one. And if at the first, is, uh, first step, one device will work as a transmitter and other device will work as a receiver and at the other device second device will work as a transmitter and first device will work as a receiver that is the nature of half duplex both devices can work as a transmitter and receiver but in different timings that is the property of half duplex data transmission Only one of the stations on a link can transmit, the other can only receive at a time. Means one device will work as a transmitter and other device will work as a receiver at a time. And at the other end, means right after, after the first step, second device will work as a transmitter and first device will work as a receiver. The best example of half duplex data transmission is walkie-talkie. What is walkie-talkie? Walkie talkie are basically two audio transferring devices. These can be wireless, they can, they can be wire based. Right? So both devices are connected with each other with the help of a program, with the help of synchronization. One device will work as a transmitter and the other device will work as a receiver and at the other end the second device will work as a transmitter and first device will work as a receiver few instructions must be followed text messaging is another example of how to text data transmission in text messaging we send a message to a person and wait for his or her reply and when the reply is received means at the first stage when I am sending the message. So I am the transmitter and the other person who is going to receive the message is the receiver. Now I am receiving the message. I am receiving the reply from the other side, right? So in this situation, I am the receiver and the other person is the sender or transmitter. So that is considered as or this scenario is considered as half duplex data transmission. Data transmission is conducted in both directions, means from first device to the second device and from second device to first device, but in different timings. 
than for duplex or duplex data transmission communication is done in both directions at the same time that is possible means data transferring can be done in both directions from first device to other device and from the other device to the first device at the same time that is considered as full duplex or duplex data transmission both stations means both devices can work as a transmitter and receiver at the same time telecommunication systems like cell phones like our ptsl phones like our audio chatting right and internet is the best example of full duplex data transmission at the same time data is transferring from our computer system to internet and data can be transferred from internet to a computer system a graphical representation of simplex full duplex and half duplex data transmission you can see in the diagram that in simplex one box is sender and the other box is receiver and only one arrow is used that is going from sender to receiver in full duplex data transmission two boxes are there which are divided in the two categories each box is divided into two categories sender and receiver two way arrows are used from sender to receiver of and from box 2 sender to box 1 receiver look at the half duplex data transmission you can see that data is sending through a wire to the receiving end and data is also sending from the second device through a single wire to the first device but this transmission can be done only one direction at a time that is the diagrammatic representation of simplex full duplex and half duplex data transmission okay now class today's session is over see you people in the next class take care everyone allah hafiz